As a family doctor in the UK, I often tell my patients prevention is better than cure, and there's no better place to check and monitor your blood pressure than in your own home. It may even reduce the need for you to go on to higher doses or additional blood pressure medication in the first place. If you have high blood pressure, know of a family member who does, or you're just taking the initiative with your health, then I think you'll find the whole video useful. But if you're after a specific section, feel free to use the timestamps in the video description box below. Just to be clear, this video is for information purposes only. If you want some specific advice about your blood pressure, it's sensible that you contact your own healthcare provider who will have access to your full medical records. So what exactly is blood pressure? Blood pressure is a measure of the force that your heart uses to pump blood around your body. It is measured in millimetres of mercury and is given as two numbers. The top number is your systolic pressure, the pressure when your heart pushes blood out. The bottom number is your diastolic pressure, the pressure when your heart rests between beats. So what's a normal and high blood pressure? As a general guide, normal systolic blood pressure is usually considered to be between 90 and 120 millimetres of mercury. Normal diastolic blood pressure is usually considered to be between 60 and 80 millimetres of mercury. On the contrary, high blood pressure is considered to be 140 over 90 millimetres of mercury or higher, or above 150 over 90 millimetres of mercury if you're age over 80. Blood pressure targets are often lower if you have a diagnosis like diabetes to reduce the risk of complications. High blood pressure is a risk factor for developing serious health problems like cardiovascular disease. If sustained over a long period of time, high blood pressure can cause damage to delicate arteries in important organs such as your brain, kidneys and eyes. If you don't already have a diagnosis of high blood pressure or have had one or two high readings, it may be suggested by your healthcare provider to return for another blood pressure check in a clinic. If this remains high, you'll likely be offered an ambulatory blood pressure monitor, basically a portable blood pressure machine which will be fitted by a healthcare professional and will automatically check your blood pressure at regular intervals during a 24 hour period. Some people don't want or can't tolerate an ambulatory blood pressure monitor and this is when recording your blood pressure at home may be recommended. A simple blood pressure machine like this one can be typically found in most healthcare settings and can be used to check your blood pressure at home twice a day for seven days. There are a number of different options to suit every budget and need and I've dropped some links to some including the one I use in the video description box below. Just a note, wrist blood pressure machines are not meant to be as accurate and are therefore not recommended. Now you might be thinking, why do I need to go and buy a blood pressure machine when I can just go somewhere and have it done? Well, you're right, you can do that, but I'm going to give you three reasons why I think checking your blood pressure at home is better. It's common for people, and that includes me, to feel anxious when going to see a healthcare professional, and as we know, this can increase blood pressure. Even if you don't feel anxious, you can't control your blood pressure whilst in these situations. Often your appointment with a healthcare professional will only allow enough time for two or three readings to be checked, giving just a snapshot of what your blood pressure is doing in that 10 minute appointment. Now compare this to the 14 readings over seven days that you can do at home where you are the majority of the time. And as I mentioned right at the beginning of this video, it may even reduce the need for you to go on to higher doses or additional blood pressure medication in the first place. Because you can't generally see signs of blood pressure and it very rarely produces any symptoms, hence known as the silent killer, having some awareness of what blood pressure is and what number constitutes a high reading can really help you understand why doctors are eager to get it under control. And by searching for and watching videos just like this, you're already ahead of the curve. So well done. So now that we know some of the reasons why checking your blood pressure at home is better for monitoring blood pressure, it's important that we check it properly in the first place by following these simple steps. For it to be an accurate reading, it's important that you are sat in a chair, resting, and that you're not feeling anxious or stressed. Place the cuff over your upper arm and tighten the cuff. If possible, rest your arm on a table, ideally at the level of your heart. The tubing should lead down the center or slightly to the right of your arm. If your upper arm is particularly larger or smaller than average, you may need to buy a different cuff size, and I've linked these Omron compatible cuffs in the video description box below. Depending on your blood pressure machine, you may need to press the on button or the start button, or both. You'll hear and feel the cuff inflate. It may be tight or uncomfortable, but this will only be for a short period of time. When finished, your blood pressure will be displayed. A pulse rate may also be shown. Write your blood pressure down, wait one minute and check it again. Record the lower of the two readings. Continue to check your blood pressure twice daily, ideally in the morning and evening for at least seven days. 
To make recording your 7 day blood pressure easier, you can download our 7 day home blood pressure excel spreadsheet using the link in the video description box below. Figures can be entered easily with colour codes for normal, slightly raised and high blood pressure. It is recommended that the first day's blood pressure readings are discarded. The spreadsheet will automatically do this for you and calculate your average blood pressure which can then be passed on to your healthcare provider. If you found this video useful or learned something new, please do like it and subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. And feel free to check out some of our other videos which are appearing on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, see you next time.